Hi folks, welcome back to the club channel. Thought I'd do something a little bit different today. An article I wrote a while ago, uh, it's still valid and I just thought I'd like to share it because it, it, it's part of the EV driver's mentality as it were. And um, I just thought i would just give you my thoughts on the idea really. Um, it's based on a blog article and I will post the uh, link to the blog article itself that I wrote. Uh, and it's called Electric Car Drivers and the Green Investing Mindset. So we all began our EV journey for a whole host of different reasons. Some of us like the cost saving an EV gives. Others might enjoy the instant torque provided at the traffic light Grand Prix. I know I do. Uh, some look at larger green issues and want to drive a vehicle that does not harm children, small animals and anything else that comes into contact with the noxious tailpipe emissions that do on an ice. So over time, people look to expand on this idea. Uh, it's just a natural progression, it seems. And then go on to sign up with green energy providers such as Octopus Energy, who offer their groundbreaking tariffs for EV drivers, such as the Go or the Agile tariffs, which are, are both useful for EV drivers for different reasons. Um, they may buy solar panels um, or even in, invest in a scheme such as like I do with the Ripple Energy it will allow you to invest in a cooperative um, to pay for and install a wind turbine. And then rather than a dividend for your investment, you get a reduction off your energy bill. And they partnered with uh, several key energy suppliers to do that, one of whom was Octopus. Uh, you know, and that benefit's available for 25 years. So it's something there for people who can't maybe afford solar panels. Um, so yeah, I think that's a great scheme. And if it's getting more renewables out there, then I'm absolutely 100% with it. You know, investments with Ripple start from £250. And as I say, you, it's a portable scheme, so you can link it with your energy bill. And if you move house, it's your scheme. It's not the house's. Um, as someone who likes to invest in green companies, I've discovered there are a whole host of companies whose green ethos I like to buy into. So I do try when I'm investing privately to invest in companies whose stock, well, I know they're doing green practices, um, securing the knowledge I'm supporting, an ethical company whose goals align with my own. So some companies I invest with, with for example, Greencoat UK Wind, um, it's a specialist asset manager dedicated to the resource efficiency and renewable energy sectors, has offices in London and Dublin, and approximately five billion under their management, making it one of the largest such fund managers in Europe. Founded in 2009 and currently has fund mandates with segregated strategies in wind infrastructure, solar infrastructure and private equity. They pay dividends quarterly in February, May, August, November. Whilst not the most exciting stock in terms of growth, if you've got some money and you want to earn more than you would in a savings account, this might be a good investment for you. And I can tell you now, the shares are currently under £2 a share. Remember, you get value of a dividend from every one of those. Uh, there's another one uh, I invest in called the Renewables Infrastructure Group Limited, stock ticker Trig L. So the Renewable Infrastructure Group is a large British investment trust dedicated to investing in assets generating electricity from renewable sources, established in 2013. Again. Does what it says on the tin is is actively your money is actively promoting renewable sources dividends paid in february may august november and again this is a stock that's fairly stable over 12 months shares again under two pound and you're getting more than you'd get in your average savings account now i'm not for instance financial advice or suggest that you go and put your life savings on these companies i'm just suggesting that's another way to take your mindset if you're of a mind, you know, there's funds, trust, bonds, all sorts of green things to put your money in. And I see that as a way of putting your money where your mouth is for your green credentials, as well as just buying an EV. And again, I don't invest in companies like Shell or anyone that is promoting fossil fuels. Although, to be fair, some of the oil companies are do seem keen on change but time will tell maybe further down the line i would invest in companies if they've shown a positive will but um 
there's enough out there. And you know, look at Tesla, they've got massive investor following. Um, and we all know their green credentials are pretty solid. So that's it, really. I just wanted to say, um, you know, there are other ways to put your money and your ideas when it comes to green investing. Um, I've done quite a bit, so you know, I'm happy to answer any questions uh, anyone might have. But again, I'm not financial advisor. I'm just a guy who likes to invest in his interests and his ideals. Hope you found this of interest. Just a short one. Just thought it might be nice to go up on the club channel. Have a good day, folks. Bye.